Hey guys, welcome back to an update episode in my uh, home theater. Um, so some very big um, changes and upgrade and stuff like that. So the first thing is that uh, I made a little um, LED uh, sign uh, for the theater and I named the theater uh, my son's name. So uh, Benji Theaters. Um, so the biggest changes would be in the sound system so i went ahead and went online and look um, for the as you know i have the eclipse uh, 525 uh, thx ultra 2 um, only the centers um, and then the two back surround so i went on the forum and i was hunting for the clip 650 so i finally upgraded the two front um, they used to be the Bose uh, 301 uh, vintage speakers and I finally upgraded uh, these to the uh, Clip 650 uh, THX Ultra. Um, those are the, that's the biggest upgrade and the second biggest upgrade would probably, well could be the biggest, is the subwoofer. Um, I'm no longer using my DIY one over there. Um, that's the one that I built uh, 10 years ago. Uh, ago. Um, so here's the new, this is the uh, SVS um, PB1000. So it's a 10 inch driver with a ported. So it's the PB1000. And this, um, this is something. It's, I was afraid that it wasn't going to be enough for my room, but it turned out it's way more than enough. So um, that's probably the best upgrade that I've made so far. Um, you, it, it's one of those things that you don't hear the bass anymore, but you can feel the bass. So I, 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 I'm in love with it. It's, it's crazy. I only have the volume on the, on the sub turned down, turned up to about 10 um, to 12 o'clock. And that's already, you know, shake my house and possibly my neighbor's house, but uh, don't think I want to know about that. Okay, so as for the other major upgrade would probably be the uh, Dolby Atmos uh, speakers. So I put in two top middle um, ceiling speakers. As you can see there, one, two, they are top middle. And then I went with um, two new uh, in-wall for the size surround. Uh, before I had that surround, um, the uh, Biopole Clips uh, 525 on this side right here. And it was sticking out about seven inches this way, which you know blocked quite a bit of the, the walking path right here. So I decided to go with an in-wall. Supposedly, you're supposed to put the bio pull on the side surround. Um, that worked better, uh, vice versa. But you know, unfortunately, I just have to you know go with what I have, and my room width is very narrow. So I I, I prefer to put the flat in wall on on for the side surround, and then the bio pole in the back, so they have more space for walking. Um, so that worked out pretty good. You know, I it's fine. It seemed to be working fine for me. Um, so the other thing is I put on the, I built the, um, what do you call those, uh, acoustic panel. Um, these are uh, acoustic panel, they are an inch and a quarter thick I believe. Um, and it's filled with fiberglass on the back. Uh, I'm not really sure if it works that well and, or it, it's actually absorbing anything much, but if I clap my hand I can tell it does make a big difference. Or if I um, start talking and stuff like that, I don't hear the echoes in the room as as much anymore. So I think they're working. So, but the biggest reason why I did that was to um, to block the window, as you've seen before uh, in the last video. There was a curtains right there um, to block the window because uh, there's a big window right here, and the window in this room is actually offset to one side of the room, so it wasn't in the center. So I didn't really like that because um, you know I, it, it, was, it was weird. So when I did the the panel, I actually centered the panel, so you can't really tell 
Um, um, if there's a window right there where it's the windows not in the centers, now the you know the the panel look like it's in the center because I I offsets it. Um, so everything looked good. The other major thing is uh, finally I got the uh, Ugway uh, back uh, roll for the, the, the you know the recliners in the back as well. Even though they can't really recline back. Uh, but now it's black and it matches the front one so make it look way way better don't you think <laughs> um, the other thing I had to the other biggest upgrade I had to do was obviously my uh, my uh, receiver um, because when I went with the um, Dolby Atmos uh, to have the uh, so right now it's a uh, 7.1.2 uh, before I can do that with my old receiver, so I have to upgrade it to the uh, Denon um, 6200 uh, before I had the Denon uh, 1200s, um, and it max out at uh, 7.2 channel. Uh, with the new one, um, I can do uh, 7.1.2, uh, which is the 9 channel, but it can actually process 11 channel. Uh, so I also bought uh, two channels amps. And then I'll probably later on I'll add uh, front speakers, uh, front height speakers, and then finally turn it to a 9.1.2 um, Dolby Atmos. Uh, 